Let's welcome our next guest who just recently passed the CPA exam. Hi guys, my name is John Eichelberger. I work at Onisco and Shoals in Long Beach and I'm part of the Cal CPA YEP committee. Today I'm going to be sharing with you uh, tips and a little bit about how I passed the CPA exam. How do you stay focused and maintain the drive and self-discipline to pass this exam? So staying focused was, was hard. Naturally, I tend to get distracted either by people, by things, you know, like I want to know what else is going on. And for me personally, I would make studying fun by inviting friends to come study with me. Uh, I would go to people's houses, they'd come over to mine. We'd go to, you know, different coffee shops, boba shops. Uh, I kind of made studying and outing. It was a way to both see my friends and go out. And also, you know, like my friends are all smart. So like they help me, I help them and we kind of build each other up and have something to, to do or to look forward to. Um, when growing through the CPA exam process. So it helps to know other people that are around you and shooting for the same goal because you all push each other to do better. Okay, so some ways to stay motivated are to make studying fun. That's the ultimate goal is to make it, you know, your, your pride and joy. You wanna have no other hobbies except for studying. <laughs> and I know that I'm kind of being a little bit sarcastic, but in a way, you know, you're spending your whole, if it's six months, if it's a year, if it's a year and a half or two years, however long you're taking to spend to study for those tests, you want it to still be as pleasurable and as fun as possible. So go to the park, if study at a park bench, go to maybe a coffee shop, sit outside. You can go to a, like a library. If they open up after coronavirus now, like who knows if that's actually gonna be a thing. But you know, maybe go to your friend's house, make it, either a social thing, if, if it's want to be social, make it an outing to go try a new a coffee or a boba or a drink. Make it something that you do along with your normal life so that you're able to enjoy, you know, like the process. And maybe it's watching YouTube videos. You could calm down on a Friday night and watch another YouTube video or watch Becker, watch Roger, you know, on uh, the, the YouTube channels because they'll teach you a lot about accounting. <laughs> How did you manage the study time? Plan first the big steps. The four big steps are there's FAR, BEC, REG, and audit. So you have to plan the timeline that you want all four of those tests to be in. You want to take those four tests in six months because you're not working and you just got out of school. You want to take them in one year because you know you are working and you need some more extra time to study in between breaks. So first lay out you know what are those four milestones which is each test and when you want to take it. Then you know like from your first test that you're taking you want to set up a plan for that first test. So plans like for me for example FAR was I studied kind of on and off here and there for about like a year, just kind of wasting my time. And then the three months before the test was where I just buckled down and every single day, I would. my plan was to just go every single day, study, and it was maybe one hour or maybe it was four hours. It, it was how I felt. That was how I studied using my studying style. So I planned that, did that, I took far. And then after that, my next milestone was BEC. So I just repeated the process for BEC, repeat, repeat, and that was how you get all four of them done, kind of using your milestones and using your mini plan to meet each milestone. What did you do a day before the exam? Nothing. No. <laughs> so, okay, the day before the exam, I the day before the exam, I would highly recommend not overstudying. I would study maybe between one to three hours the day before the exam. Any more than that is just too much and I would say you should have done all your studying before then. That way you have everything and when it comes to the day before exam, you just want to have a clear mind. You want to have good sleep or good rest and go in confidently and well rested. That way you can think critically during. It's a, it's a four hour test. so. You want to make sure that you're on your highest performance level when you're taking it. And what advice would you like to share? So I would say my first tip is to take things one step at a time. 
uh, and think of it maybe like as stairs as you go through the process. You can't get to the top of the stairs by skipping steps. So you gotta make sure that, you know, like you build your base slowly and gradually and make sure that you're understanding as you go along and, and conceptualizing things. Uh, take time to just kind of reflect. And I think my second tip would to be, if you're tired and you're not retaining information, just stop studying. If you need to stop studying for a day, stop studying for a day, stop studying for two days, you know, like take a little bit of time off, refresh. And then when you're feeling really good and your brain is functioning very well, study as much as you can. So like use that time to be your most efficient and to really, if, if your plan was to stop studying at eight, but you're feeling like you're in a great mood, don't stop studying, keep going till nine or 10 o'clock. And then, you know, like make sure that you're using all of those good hours where you're retaining the information to the, your advantage. Third tip is just grind it out. Make sure that you have 100% certainty that you want your CPA license before you even go to get it. Because if you don't want it, it's going to waste your time. It's going to take longer. But if you really want it, you're going to do all you can to get it. So when I say grind it out, make sure that you know and it's something you want that you're willing to work hard towards hard towards <laughs> but yeah just make sure that like you're grinding and you're keeping the momentum as you're going forward don't slack